There it is. Oh, thank goodness you, you didn't sell it. Oh, look, there's been a mistake. My wife shouldn't have sold you this piece. You see, she, she didn't know the value of it. I knew it. I knew it. Hey, that's not my fault, man. She agreed to the price. You took advantage of her. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> well, just what is it you want, Mr. Uh... Osborne. Now, look, you're an antique dealer. At least that's what your card says. You must have known it was worth more than $20. Uh, we, we didn't know that. I swear. We thought it was a spit room. <laughs> you know, it's people like you that give the antique business a bad name. I knew it. I knew it. You knew I knew it when I told you I knew it. It's underhanded dealing. That's what it is. I mean, talking innocent housewives out of parting with their antiques and then paying them practically nothing for it. It's, it's underhanded. Yes, it's underhanded. Listen, your wife couldn't wait to get this out of the house. Because you talked her out of it. Now, that's very unfair. Very unfair. That's very unfair. Very unfair. <laughs> Would you stop it? Now, don't go accusing me of doing nothing underhanded. Just tell your wife to be more careful in the future. Is that all you have to say? Is that all you have to say? <laughs> because if it is, Mr. Sanford, you're behaving like a cad. Yeah, you're behaving like a... What's that you call my son? <laughs> a cad. Yeah, you're behaving like one of them, and a dummy, too. <laughs> Uh, excuse me, Mr. Osborne. I'd like to talk to him for a minute, okay? If that's all right. No, I'll be pushing Just go on. inside there, because this is no, my this business is deal. I don't want to thing in the house. Yeah, you don't have anything to say. Don't tell me! Don't tell me! I don't understand why you're with it. Give me the episode. Nothing to do with the situation. Well, was there something else that you wanted to uh, talk to me about, Mr. Osborne? Only this. I, I, I've got to have that piece back. Well, I'd be more than happy to sell it back to you. Oh, good, good. Now, uh, I'll even offer you a little uh, profit on the deal. Uh, how about uh, $30? We'll take it. Nope, it's worth more than that. Oh, well, you're making $10. Well, all right, all right. Uh, $50. We'll take it, though. You're gonna have to go a lot higher than that. A uh, 75? The money's off in the $75 for a toilet. This... <laughs> This toilet happened to belong to the Prince of Wales, didn't it, Mr. Osborne? All right, all right. You've got me over a barrel. I'll, uh, I'll give you $200 for it. <laughs> 200 Would you stop it? Now, it's worth a lot more than that, and he knows it. Well, if you put it up for auction, you'd have to pay a commission and then take whatever price came in. No, 200 is very fair, very fair. 200 is very fair. Very fair. <laughs> All right. Just to show you I'm not such a hard businessman, I'll take it. Uh, may I write you a check? Yeah, put your address and phone number on the back, though. Mm. Not exactly a bad profit for a day's work, is it? Hey, man, that's the way it goes. I'll have someone come and pick it up in the morning. Now, one thing more, Mr. Sanford. If I hear about you doing something like this again, I'm going to report you to the Better Business Bureau. I'm not a member. <laughs> well, I know somebody else who'd be interested in all of this is Ralph Nader. Is he in antique toilets? <laughs> You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Are you going to start that again? Yes, I'm going to start that again, taking advantage of people. What did you do? Pop, if I wanted to take advantage of him, I could have charged him twice as much. Now, you heard what the man said. He would have been willing to pay anything to get that back. $200. $200 for a toilet that ain't got no chains. 